Okay, so it is a snowy Monday morning in late February, and I've decided I am going to work from home today. I'm going to try and get a few more vlogs ready to go, including this one that will be going up, uh, and try and get uh, caught up. I'm a few behind where I want to be at this point. But I thought a good snowy day will be a, a good time to catch up. So enjoy. Welcome to episode four of Financial Pop. As you saw from the video earlier, I'm working from home today trying to get a few of these logs created and, and ready to put up. Uh, but this episode, episode four, is titled Terminators, Cylons, and Daleks. <clears throat> Bonus points for anyone who can get the reference to all three. Uh, so we, you may think that we're talking about sci-fi or uh, something, uh, something from a, a dystopian future or something along those lines. Uh, but what we're really talking about today is something from the good old basics. Michael Scott and his view of technology and what technology is trying to do to us. Let's watch a couple clips. Proceed straight. Well, we're 0 for 6. Last chance is the Elmhurst Country Club. Other side of the lake on the southeast side. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I thought this would work. Through everything I had at that guy, nothing. That's how it goes sometimes, you know? You lose everything, and everything falls apart, and eventually you die and no one remembers you. That is a very good point, Dwight. Make a right turn. No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It means bear right. No. Up there. It said right. It said take a right. No, 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 look. It, it means go up to the right, bear right, over the bridge, and hook up with 307. Make a right Maybe it's turn. a shortcut, Dwight. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. There's well, a lake right there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's up there. Yeah. There's no road here. Remain calm. I have trained for this. OK. Exit the window. Here we go. Make a U-turn, if possible. Are you okay? Swim for it! I got you! I got you! Michael! Michael! You let go! Ah, let go of me! Come on! I got you! I got you! May I have your attention, please? This office will not be using any new technology ever, starting now. That is not correct. Ryan thinks that technology is the answer. Well, guess what? I just drove my car into a lake. You did what? I drove my car into a lake. Why, you may ask, did I do this? Well, because of a machine. A machine told me to drive into a lake, and I did it. I did it because I trusted Ryan's precious technology, and look where it got me. Into a lake. Exactly. Did you get any clients back? Maybe, maybe not. Time will tell. But I will tell you one thing, those gift baskets never endangered anybody's lives. Game, set, match. Point. Scott, game over. End of game. Everyone always wants new things. Everybody likes new inventions, new technology. People will never be replaced by machines. In the end, life and business are about human connections. And computers are about trying to murder you in a lake. And to me, the choice is easy. So while machines may not be trying to kill us, at least not yet, 
uh, machines do have a tendency to distract us. Uh, so I've been reading a book called Turning Pro uh, by uh, Stephen Pressfield. Uh, and uh, in that, we, he talks about, in the, in the first section of it, he talks about how we're addicted to distractions. Um, and I also read uh, you know, Tim Ferriss's uh, Four Hour Work Week some time ago, and he talks about uh, how you should only check your email once or twice a day. Um, I gotta admit, I've been guilty uh, up to this point until today here of uh, having my phone buzz every time I get an email. Um, much to my wife's chagrin in the middle of the night, uh, sometimes I'd get an email and it would buzz and I'd sleep through it, but it would wake her up. Um, so I'm, I'm putting a stop to that. I challenge you to do the same thing. We don't have to be checking our email every five minutes. How many of you have checked your email in the last half hour? Is there anything really that came through that is that urgent that you had to see it immediately? Uh, I bet I bet everything that came through uh, could have waited, you know, until uh, until the next time for you to check your email, whether that's every hour or whether it's every two hours or whatever you want to set it up to be. But I challenge you to do something there. Avoid the distractions. Turn off your your Twitter, your uh, Instagram, your Facebook notifications, all those things. Don't get in. Don't get into Snapchat uh, during the workday. Those things you can do in the evenings, those things you can do during your off time. Focus while you're at work. Focus on the things that will help you. And, uh, and I, I challenge you to do that and your life will become much more productive. Thanks. Okay, last little bit. Uh, I was just re-listening to what I had said. Uh, while I believe in everything that I did say, you may have noticed towards the end there a notification chime that, that uh, you heard. That was my daughter's uh, iPad uh, letting her know some update on some game. Um, I don't have those on my phone, <laughs> but I thought it was pretty ironic. Anyway, uh, have a good day. We'll talk soon.